What is going on guys, I'm Skits from Explicit Tutorials and today we're talking about how to optimize Windows 10 for the best performance in Fortnite and most other games today. Enjoy! Before we start, make sure to download and extract the Windows 10 optimization pack as it has everything you will need to complete the steps in this tutorial. The link, as always, will be in the description of the video. So without further ado, let's get started. After you've extracted the pack, you want to go into it and inside the CPU core parking folder, you need to run the setup in order to install CPU core parking. Once that's finished, you want to open it up and set everything to 100%. Leave the power plan as it is because we'll be changing that in one of the next steps. Click apply and close the program. Many of you guys in the comments have been asking if this step hurts your PC or not and I can say with 100% certainty that it does not. When parking your cores, you're distributing the stress of that one core onto however many cores you have, and that results in better FPS and longer lifespan of the CPU itself. Moving on to the next step, go inside the optimization pack again, go into the driver booster folder and run the installer. Once you're done, all you want to do is scan for outdated drivers and simply update them. Updating your drivers can sometimes make a big difference. I have friends who've gained more than 20 FPS just by updating their very old drivers, so it's always worth keeping them up to date. In the first step, I said to leave the power plan as it is. Well now, you want to type that into the search bar and set it to ultimate performance. If you're like me and don't have that option, go into the optimization pack and run the ultimate performance command. Now go back to the power plan and you should have the option. Set it to ultimate performance and click change plan settings. Set put your computer to sleep to never and under advanced power settings make sure that your hard disk never turns off and your minimum and maximum processor rates are 100. Click apply and exit. Next, inside the pack, you want to click on system configuration and in general you want to take selective startup load system services and load startup items. Click apply. In the boot tab, check no GUI boot and click apply again. And under services, you want to check hide all Microsoft services and disable anything that you don't need running in the background. For example, Dropbox, Origin Web Helper, etc. Click apply and exit the program. This will make your PC boot faster and feel faster in general, so make sure you do this. Now for the next step, click on services and open the services to disable text document. Here I've written down which services you will need to disable so you can find them easier. To disable them, all you want to do is right click them, go to properties, click stop if they are already running and select startup type as disabled and apply. Do this for all services listed in the text document and you'll be good to go. Next, in the optimization pack, open up run and type in percent temp percent. Click OK and delete everything in this folder. Don't worry though, because all of these are files that are no longer needed for your PC. 
once you've deleted everything in the temp folder in run you want to type in prefetch and delete everything in that folder as well For this step, you want to right click this PC and go to Properties, Advanced System Settings. And under the Performance tab, you want to check Adjust for Best Performance. Go to the Advanced tab and Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. Click Change and inside of here you want to set every drive to None and your Windows drive to System Managed. Click Apply and exit the dialog box. Inside the Windows Optimization Pack, click Regedit and copy the Regedit path into the top. Once you're here, click on System Profile and make sure System Responsiveness is set to 0 hexadecimal value. Click OK and go to Games. Make sure GPU priority is set to 8 and priority is set to 6 hexadecimal, click OK and exit the registry editor. Next you want to go into task manager and under the startup tab you want to disable everything. You don't want anything launching as soon as you boot your PC because it will just slow it down. If you really need it, you can keep a few programs on, but I recommend to disable everything and just launch them yourself. Alright, so for the last step, we'll be going through the Windows settings in order to disable some functionalities that 99% of you guys will never use in your life. This is quite a long step, so make sure you just follow along and do everything that I do. If you do use any of these, don't disable them, especially the camera and microphone as you will need them for gaming.
A bonus tip, if you haven't already done it, go to mouse settings, additional mouse options and under the pointer options tab make sure enhanced pointer precision is turned off. Alright, so that's it for this video guys. I trust that after doing all this, your Windows feels a lot faster and you've improved your FPS in every one of your games. Leave a like, comment and subscribe. Maybe even check out our website at explicittutorials.com and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.